How's it going guys? Tyrant here and I just got done watching episode 3 of <coughs> of High School XCX Hero and uh so so it's it's gotten back to its kind of traditional High School XDX, it's what it is. There's only one scene that kind of bugged me that I'll, I'll, I guess I'll talk about that kind of felt forced. But besides that, we're, we're, we're kind of back to its roots. It is what it is. So if anyone kind of gets annoyed by it, it's, it's what the show is. You're, you, you, got your, you know what you guys yourself into. You, got your, you know what you got into. The only thing that's bugging me is kind of some of the new art style. Like, I was really trying to get used to it, and, um, I don't know, it just bugs me slightly. But, um, the gang's back, and, you know, I don't know, it feels like it's, it's funny how I'm saying it. Because they're just continuing their trip with, uh, in Kyoto, and, you know, trying to do their stuff. Um, the, they're really trying to, like not force increase i would <laughs> let's go with they're trying to increase points for the relationship with a lot of the characters uh in this episode uh more so with asia uh lately <laughs> like for me she's the more her character has been updated more than like anyone else <laughs> like her face her her boobs, they're, they're literally bigger. Like, her overall character has been upped to another level. She's like, she's more adamant. Like, season wise, she's been slowly getting there little by little. But now she's like, there. And, um, oh, like I said, I'll talk about it in a second. So, so they've kind of now, so with the whole, you, uh, yokai situation, everything they kind of that's kind of been settled. Um, you know, they meet some misunderstanding was cleared up, and uh, Aziel has kind of like, you know, this is what happened, you know, everything we're gonna be working with them. If something happens, we're gonna need your help, and that's kind of cool. This is and during this scene, there's a part that really bugged me that literally felt like it was thrown in there, like. I was like, what? Why? The scene I'm talking about is uh, once they show an uh, a image of, I can't remember the, the, the fox girl's name, but a picture of her mother. And unless I missed it or something, there was no indication for her to be sexualized other than for Issei's enjoyment and for the audience. <laughs> literally there was no reason and it's like frustrating me like why are you throwing this in there like if <clears throat> if you showed us like showed us the image and her being well endowed the, i would get it but you we kind of got it on an angle and you kind of saw it it was like i actually i actually tried to look it's like eh, is it eh? And then they just threw the, her, his his lustful daydream, and then like, ah, oh, god damn it! And it just for me that just felt forced, and it bugged me a lot. It bugged me, like, um, <laughs> and then they kind of kind of transition into um, uh, uh, Akano and Risa, the whole bath scene, another bath scene, and kind of the whole thing. But that that. That's just a transition. It's really just them mess, Akino messing with Risa. Uh, but what's interesting after this is the whole, um, I would say, closet scene. This is where it kind of gets to traditional high school DXD. And by that, I mean, like, sexual situations that Issei's put in and doesn't, doesn't, fully utilized <laughs> it, it would bug it bugs me as an audience like dude dude um and by what i mean is um so they <clears throat> ashio and the rest of the girls are gonna end up going to his room to to play games and shit um somehow 
Asia and uh, Issei ends up in the closet, and during that scene, we get a very uh, uh, lovely like uh, kiss scene between the two of them, and like, oh, that's that's nice. I like that. Like I said, they updated uh, Asia's character; they made her more uh, more forward. They've been doing that slowly, and it, it works. Like I I accept that. You know, that's good. I like that. Uh, and they're kind of just kissing in the the closet, and then uh, Zenovia and fuck, I can't remember the angel chick's name right at the moment. Zenovia and, and the angel chick show up like, oh, this is what you meant. We're gonna be doing so. Uh, out of embarrassment, Asia passes out. The girls get inside the closet, and Zenovia starts uh, taking off her clothes and wanting to kiss uh, uh, Issei, and then. Um, Telling the angel chick like you know, it's gonna be your turn after my turn like what I don't know I don't know if I do this like don't worry just go with the flow and it's really like like I said it's traditional with high school DXD and I'm like all right <laughs> this is this is normal like I, I accept this it's a this is the scene this is it like like why why did you have to throw me that force scene of the mother fox that that was not needed I did not need this this is this is all right this feels high school dxd you know and and you know you get a whole bunch of shit you know uh them going after his dick basically uh and then uh fuck rod rose roswin can't remember the teacher's name though valkyrie she comes in and, like catches them in in the middle uh we do get a scene I, before i forget I, they, we do get a scene of Ace kind of uh on top of the angel check i can't remember, i'll remember her name eventually but we get a, a scene of that, um, of him fondling her and kind of but fondling her. Uh, this, this is what I was worried. This is what I was worried because the last couple seasons, little by little, we've been getting characters falling in love with Issei, you know. Um, I actually thought around the time they introduced the angel chick, uh, she would have fallen in love with him. But no, she's kind of been there there it was i now at, we get a scene here later with her kind of glancing over and getting embarrassed and everything so it's finally there besides i think i don't know if they're gonna have the valkyrie fall in love with her i fill up with the fall in love with Issei. um they might but i don't think they will and then that's fine uh it, but yeah, I think the angel chick was the only girl left that I was like wondering, is she going to want in with him? Or was she already in love with him? Like, so finally throwing this, uh, like, okay. I actually thought they were going to have the little fox girl fall in love with him. They might. I don't know if they will. Um, it just might be a scene. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait and see on that one. Um, and, and go from there. Um... Uh, Besides that, the second half of the show is basically um, them uh, traveling to with in Kyoto with uh, their new uh, their new fox friend, and kind of they they do they do it simplistically. It's all still images, props on saving cost efficiency. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm fine with that. You know, just let the plot go. Let the plot go. I'll I'll take the still images. I'll take it. I'll take it. And then. Uh, then it's time the things get heated you know the the hero faction of the uh, the whatever chaos brigade shows up things are going to start happening and that's great that's how i want it to end like with anticipation like i'm ready now for next week and i gotta wait till next week now it's frustrating but that's what it is um yeah yeah besides that it was um besides that one scene of that Forced um, scene of daydream. I think that's the only thing that really bugged me. Besides that, the whole thing was just a traditional high school DXC episode. That's about it. Um, I might have to rewatch it to to maybe get that that scene. But besides that, I like I said. The rest of the episode is just traditional. I'm hoping to get some more interesting scenes, some more interesting fight scenes and stuff. Uh, oh, one last thing. They did throw in this weird flashback part in the beginning of the episode. I'm like, what the heck's this? Like, what is this? Besides that, yeah, that's about it. <laughs>
So, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. So, thanks again for watching. Until next time, see ya.